being being cute close to the fight and having a safety first approach on sparring and not taking unnecessary risks in fights of this magnitude but i'm devastated for tyson fury there's nothing we can in the lead up to this fight the boxing world has been critical of tyson fury carl frock in particular was skeptical about the gypsy king returning to the boxing ring again on the other hand Alexander Yusik hasn't given much thought to Fury continually postponing the fight. He has been training hard over the past year and collaborating with fellow heavyweights. With Vladimir, uh, yes, Vladimir uh, gave me advice, yeah, but now it's secret. The fight was postponed to May 18th and Yusik had an interesting response. Take a look. I not think about it. This I don't. I don't think about this because uh, uh, I think uh, fight. Uh... Get ready for the showdown. Alexander Yusik is confident the fight will go ahead as planned. But what about his preparations? And is the Gypsy King ready for the biggest fight of his career? Let's dive in. The lead up to the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Yusik bout has been nothing short of dramatic. Originally set for February 18th, the undisputed heavyweight title clash was delayed after Fury suffered an unfortunate eye injury during a sparring session, sidelining him for several weeks. The criticism came pouring in for the current WBC heavyweight champion, with many accusing him of deliberately avoiding the fight. Just last year, Tyson Fury faced one of the most embarrassing moments of his career when he struggled against former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Naganu, who was making his boxing debut. The Gypsy King was dropped by Naganu for the first time in his career and appeared noticeably unfit and unprepared for the bout. This led to doubts about Fury's future in the sport and raised questions about whether the undisputed heavyweight clash would ever happen. When the Gypsy King sustained the injury, former British champion Karl Frock didn't hold back. He criticized the conditions under which the injury occurred, suggesting that such incidents shouldn't happen in preparations for a fight of this magnitude. Frock questioned Fury's decision to spar with a pumped-up middleweight so close to the fight date, stressing the importance of caution. He emphasized the need for protective gear during sparring sessions and criticized Fury for not wearing a full face guard. Frock called the sparring session sloppy, contrasting it with the careful preparation of champions like Floyd Mayweather and Canelo Alvarez, who have managed to avoid such incidents. The greatest show on earth has begun here in Saudi Arabia. Frock's disappointment was evident not just for the fighters, but for the boxing community and the eager fans awaiting the bout. He pondered the wider implications of the fight's postponement, questioning Fury's camp's preparation strategies and decision-making leading up to this critical point. At the time, boxing experts were busy criticizing the Gypsy King for his carelessness in the lead-up to such a highly anticipated fight. However, amidst the drama, one person kept his cool. Fury's opponent, Alexander Yusik, remained calm and believed the fight would go ahead on the rescheduled date of May 18th. Yusik refused to criticize Fury and simply stated that his opponent had run out of excuses to delay the fight again. He probably knew that Fury would lose his golden opportunity to become an undisputed champion if he created any more drama. But Yusik wasn't bothered about the drama from the outside world. He was focused on training and preparing for the fight. In a previous interview, Yusik revealed his strategy to distance himself from social media and the speculations regarding his opponent. This strategy isn't just a personal preference, it's a tactical move in the high-stakes world of boxing. Mental preparation is as crucial as physical readiness. By avoiding distractions and provocations typically found on social media platforms, Yusik ensures his mental space remains clear and focused solely on the task at hand. This approach reflects a maturity and professionalism that champions are made of. I can do KO, I do. If I not, uh, if I can uh, do 12 round, I do. Ukrainian boxing isn't just about training hard, it's a whole lifestyle. Yusik knows this well, he values spending time with his family as much as his time in the gym. 
It's all about balance for him, making sure his mind and spirit are just as strong as his body. Yosik's mental and physical readiness is a challenge to Fury without him even saying a word. It's like he's silently daring Fury, saying, I'm here, ready to go. What's your move? This puts the pressure on Fury to step up and commit to the fight, leaving behind any doubts or speculation. Yasik's determination to make the fight happen speaks volumes about his character. He's not one for empty talk. He lets his actions do the talking. This makes fans respect him even more and adds an interesting twist to the Fury vs. Yusik story. In a recent interview, Yusik revealed he's training with Ukrainian heavyweight Vladimir Klitschko. This strategic move shows Yusik's depth of thought. By teaming up with Klitschko, who has faced Fury before, Yusik isn't just training. He's soaking up valuable knowledge that could make all the difference on fight night. Klitschko's past experiences with Fury offer insights into both the mental and physical aspects of taking on the Gypsy King. Yausik's collaboration with Klitschko shows his commitment to leaving no stone unturned in his quest for victory. Bringing Klitschko into his camp proves Yusik's understanding of the challenge Fury presents with his unique style and mind games. Klitschko's experience and analytical approach bring valuable tactical knowledge to decode Fury's complex puzzle. This partnership goes beyond physical training. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of Fury's strengths and weaknesses. Yusik's confidence, boosted by working with Klitschko, speaks volumes about his mental readiness. Being physically prepared is crucial, but a strong mental game plan is equally important, especially against Fury's unpredictability. Yosik's unwavering belief in the fight proceeding is scheduled despite rumors and uncertainties shows his focus and determination. This strategic edge isn't just about countering Fury's tactics, but also enhancing Yusik's own strengths. With his agility, technical skills, and strategic intelligence, Yusik is refining his attributes further through training with Klitschko, making him an even more formidable opponent. This partnership allows Yusik to sharpen both his offensive and defensive strategies, ensuring he's ready for whatever Fury throws his way. Look what I'm eating. Nyam, nyam, nyam. You're next. In a recent interview, Yusik shared his motivation for the upcoming clash with the Gypsy King during Elite TNT Sports face-to-face. -face. He revealed, I've been preparing for this fight for a few years now, since he beat Vladimir. He didn't know about me back then because I wasn't famous in the world of boxing. But I have been preparing for him and Anthony Joshua since I started professional boxing. The psychological battle between Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik in the lead-up to their fight has become as significant as the physical clash that awaits in the ring. The boxing world has been buzzing with predictions, with many taking sides in this highly anticipated showdown. He looks healthy, you know, he looks, he looks athletic and healthy and, you know, people don't often say that about Tyson Fury, you know what I mean? Like I said, he's very much like myself, we're never going to be Kelvin Klein models, but you can be fit, you can be healthy, you can be... Fraser Clark recently shared his insights on the upcoming fight in an interview, focusing on Tyson Fury's impressive physical condition. He noted Fury's athletic appearance, suggesting serious preparations for the bout. Clark also commended Fury's professionalism, like wearing a mask to avoid illness, indicating a high level of commitment. Regarding strategy, Clark believes Yusik won't shy away from confronting Fury. He predicted Yusik would try to take the center of the ring early on and establish his presence, showing his power and agility instead of fighting defensively. Matt Macklin echoed similar sentiments in his analysis during an interview with Boxing Social. He expressed confidence in Fury's abilities but acknowledged Yusik's challenge. Macklin noted that Fury might have underestimated his previous opponent, leading to a less than stellar performance, which he doesn't expect to repeat against Yusik. And so when you look at the fight coming in, Look, boxing fans or boxing people or any fans I suppose in sport can be quite fickle and you're as good as you Macklin pointed out Fury's impressive physical shape for the fight, suggesting it could sway the outcome, especially after Usyk's recent wins over Anthony Joshua. He highlighted the perception of the fight now being much closer and discussed the broader landscape of the heavyweight division, where Fury is still favored but faces a tightly contested match. Speculating on the fight's impact on Fury's career, Macklin wondered if a dominant victory might skip the need for an immediate rematch with Yusik and set the stage for a highly anticipated bout against Joshua. He stressed the significance of such a showdown for fans and for solidifying Fury's legacy in the heavyweight boxing scene. 
The boxing world is buzzing about this showdown, but will Usyk hold the advantage? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for the latest updates so you never miss a video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.